Well, folks, we made it to Friday, and, well, it is Friday, what, September 8th, I believe. We still have some big news to bring your way. We actually have some leaks coming in for next week's Nintendo Direct, and they're happening a little bit sooner than we anticipated, but still pretty cool, and it comes from people who have a very, like, basically a sterling perfect track record, which almost never happens when it comes to leaked content, so... Pretty crazy, and we're gonna talk about that. Oh, but before we do that, we also have a bunch of games launching today, so we're gonna get into that as well, and that's pretty much it for today's Prime News. It might be a shorter one, I have no idea, but I wanna thank you for being here and remind you to ring-a-ling that ding -a -ling. I know, some of you hate this phrasing. I really don't care, because to me, it's just fun to say, ring-a-ling that ding -a -ling, and be notified of all of our videos. We're also on a road to 150, thousand subscribers to so go ahead and smash that validation button it's the it's that like button there and go ahead and subscribe to the channel and maybe we'll get to our goal this year we'll have to wait and see now without wasting any more of your time let's get into the news because we have a bunch of games launching today two of them we're going to go into a little bit of detail on the rest we're just going to give you a list so let's start with switch exclusive this is a nintendo switch exclusive that's been advertised for a little while now called fey farm Phoenix Labs has announced that Fae Farm is launching on Switch today. The game is priced at $60 and takes up about 1.7 gigabytes of space. You can escape to the world of Fae Farm and create your own cozy home in the enchanted world of Azoria. As you nurture and grow your homestead, you'll get to meet charming characters, foster deep relationships, and discover ways to infuse magic into everything you do. You can customize your character, master the arts of crafting and cooking, cooking, potion making, and discover so much more. Unfold the mysteries of the island on your own or with up to three other players. You can invite your family and friends to visit their homestead to progress together, playing beside you or online. As the seasons change, you'll be able to unlock new areas and restore the world around you. Now that's Fae Farm. You can go ahead and buy that game if you want. It's available on the Nintendo Switch eShop and such. But hey, we're not done because also today, NBA 2K24 has launched on Nintendo Switch. Now, NBA 2K24 did launch today and it includes modes like Mamba Moments, Hoop in Paradise, and obviously the classic My Team mode. It is notable, however, the Nintendo Switch version of the game is missing one key feature of the new game for the first time, some new system called Pro Play. This feature added more realistic animation from today's NBA players, but it's only available for gamers on an Xbox Series or a PlayStation 5. This is the first time that a developed feature for NBA 2K requires more powerful hardware. This unfortunately means the Switch version, while being content complete, is not feature complete due to the power gap. This might be rectified when Switch 2 likely launches next year for NBA 2K25. Yeah, folks, I don't know if I'm going to pick up the Switch version this year. I might get it on PlayStation or Xbox. We'll have to wait and see, but, well, I'll have to wait and see, I suppose, on which version I buy. But we're not done because we also have a list of games I want to go through quick, so let's go rapid fire on these games that also launched today. So other games that launched today include Crowd City, Sprout Valley, Night at the Gates of Hell, Anonymous Code, and seduce me, the complete story. Am I seducing you right now? All right, let's get to the story you actually care about. All right, folks, so here comes the big kahuna. This is what you really clicked on this video for. It has to do with the Nintendo Direct leaks. I'm well aware, so you know what? Without further gilding the lily, let's get right into these leaks. So. Where do they come from? Well, I told you earlier, after Necrofilipe leaked that we were going to get a Nintendo Direct next week, that we would likely hear leaks for that Direct starting on Monday. Well, it turns out the person that we expected to see leaks from is actually starting today, and he goes by the username Pioro. Now, he has a 100% track record. He is a user on Twitter, and we've been down this road with some leakers in the past that ended up just like they were stealing leaks, but it doesn't look like this person is because these leaks are coming from him and nowhere else. But we do need to talk about this stuff just because the track record is so sterling. And so far today, they have basically teased 
or outright said, three games that are going to be in this Nintendo Direct. So let's dive into his tweets and what he had to say. So the first posting he put up on Twitter said, let's just say fans of a certain MATLAB function will be happy with the upcoming Direct. Now, this was actually a pretty clever way to leak the game that ended up being leaked. And that's because MATLAB functions, for those who don't know, tend to be a bunch of calculator math functions that do certain things to help you with math-related equations. They could be simple things from such as starting and stopping a timer run and to more complicated things like running entire scripts and more. But because of the vagueness of this, fans had many guesses at what game he was referencing based on the possible math functions. A few fit the bill, but when a fan said F0, Pioro went ahead and liked that tweet, essentially confirming the answer. He did the same thing technically weeks ago when he liked a tweet when someone was guessing the Nintendo Direct date of September 13th. So there you go. Again, we still don't know if the Direct is on the 13th, but if it is, technically he liked a tweet and told us weeks ago. However, he wasn't done. At the time of making our video, and maybe at this point he's leaked something else, but this is just at this time, he did post a clip of Donkey Kong rolling from the Mario movie. This can point to one of two outcomes, technically. Either he is teasing that Nintendo will unveil a Donkey Kong movie, something that, in my honest opinion, seems unlikely due to the writers and actors strike going on right now, which would actually prevent someone like Seth Rogen from even recording voice lines, and the writers of the movie well, from like writing the actual script for the movie, the other and more likely outcome based on rumors is the unveiling of a new Donkey Kong game. Of course, this could just be a remaster, but the astute among you likely remember that we have had a Donkey Kong game rumored for Switch for nearly three years, dating back to the days of when Emily Rogers was still leaking stuff. This game, of course, was never even stated to understand 100% what it is. Like, is it a side-scrolling? Is it a 3D Donkey Kong game? We never really got full clarification. We just got opinions one way or another on which way people were leaning. Now, in summary, that does seem that Pioro is yet again leaked that F-Zero and Donkey Kong games will be in the Direct. Now, the most likely course of this being a brand new Donkey Kong game, and then another F-Zero that has been rumored for a while, F-Zero GX Remaster from GameCube. One note, of course, because he did leak a third game, is he responded to a fan who asked if we would get more Peach game info, and he simply said, yup. Now, that's a pretty safe bet, but still, it is something that we don't know 100% for sure, so we have to consider that a leak, or I guess the way you should probably consider all this stuff is rumors, because it's not like I can verify any of this information. So, it's more like a rumor than a leak, but because of his track record, I tend to think of it as a leak, even though it's technically a rumor. I know we end up using those words interchangeably here at Nintendo Prime, so it can be a little bit confusing. I do know the difference. These are rumors. It's just, this guy is so credible, it's hard not to take this stuff pretty seriously. Now we'll know for sure next week if there even is a Direct when Nintendo announces it and what's in the Direct when we actually see the damn Direct and do our reaction and our podcast and everything else. All I know is I'm really excited for the potential of F-Zero and Donkey Kong both coming back. Obviously seeing a lot more of the Peach game would be a welcome sight. Maybe a tidbit on Mario Wonder and Mario RPG as well. Maybe the Luigi's Mansion stuff. No, I don't know what's going to be in this Direct. I have my own personal speculations just to give you a few things I expect from the Metroid franchise. Metroid Prime 2 Echo to be shadow dropped and also I expect to see something Metroid Prime 4 related in this direct. I might be a pipe dream but I it's something that I am anticipating and then if you actually remember something Jeff Grubb said a while ago he mentioned something Zelda was going to happen later this year not related to the Tears of the Kingdom. Well we now know Tears of the Kingdom is not having DLC. We also know about Tears of the Kingdom Amiibo coming and while those could be dated that's still related to Tears of the Kingdom so maybe a Zelda remasters in here or a top down Zelda? I, I mean look we Dude, these are Nintendo Directs, and sometimes the fun is the mystery of it all, and guessing and looking at the leaks and just seeing how much of it is right and how much of it is wrong. So you guys let me know some of your favorite predictions for the possible Nintendo Direct next week, and beyond all that, I'll catch you guys in that next video. Yeah.